Is it safe to cut open a queen cell to check and see if it's any good? Well, it depends on how you do it and when you do it. When I'm running over 100 mating nukes, and summer is very short in Michigan, uh, if you want to know the timing and, and uh, the procedures to getting a new laying queen, check out Michael Bush's bee math. Google that, and it'll show you It'll show you the, the times that you need to wait for certain things. Timing is very important. Common sense is important. And, and a little bit of luck goes a long ways. So this is basically what I do. When I do a split, I make sure you have a frame of eggs and brood. And then I don't count the day I do the split. I count the day after. Five days after a split, I destroy the cat queen cells. Because I don't want a immature runt virgin queen that can't get mated. So I go through, I destroy the capped queen cells, and then if I wanted to harvest some good queen cells or hopefully have some good queen cells, I'd do it on 12 days. But I've been so busy, I haven't had time to do that. So on the 13th day, you know, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna check a colony and you don't see a virgin queen in there, the 13th day is the time you can cut open a queen cell, and I'll show you how to do that. But on the 14th day, you should have a virgin queen in that mating nuke. If you don't have a virgin queen on the 14th day, you, you pretty much know those queen cells are no good. So I'll finish this off here. After you get a, a virgin queen and you confirm she's in the mating nuke, eight days after that, you check early in the morning to see if she's still in the mating nuke. If you don't see a virgin queen in the mating nuke, you check it again the next day. So nine days, check that colony, no VQ. That means you have to do the nuke over. She got lost in mating flight. And then on 12 days, if you have a virgin queen that isn't laying, you, you need to kill her and start that nuke over again. Most queens will lay on the eighth day from emerging from a queen cell. So, okay, let me show you here. I got two notebooks. One is pretty much what's going on in each colony. The other one, when I get a virgin queen, I write down a date and the colony number. I've been doing this for seven weeks so far this summer. It is June 25th, and I've created, I'm getting approaching 70 new laying queens. So that's basically 10 a week. I had a really bad start. Well, I started good, but then it got really bad. Started good, and then it got bad. Red means I failed. I, it, was, uh, it was a smoke. I didn't have a lot of I didn't have a lot of virgin queens. Also, they failed to do virgin queens with the queen cells. So anyway, things have gotten better. Not very much red anymore. Sucked along the garage. I have a video about that, and I know what I'm doing wrong. Pretty sure they're getting too hot. They're not getting an airflow. So let me uh, I'll pause this and pull out a frame here. I always have the center frame that has uh, the brood and eggs on the frame. That's where the queen cells would be. Hey, it's very important to keep good notes. If you didn't write things down and you don't have a real great memory, you wouldn't know. But look, this right here, it has a uh, open queen cell with a uh, larva in there along with... And the queen cells, these don't look, this doesn't look very old. So I need to check my notes. Maybe I redid this one and they didn't have a good queen cell. So I need to check my notes. I'm going to pause. This is a notebook where I'll check, make sure that I didn't... See, this is uh, 612 is the date that this was done over. So it is uh, 626, so it's 14 days, and I don't have a virgin queen in here. I'm going to go through here and check my notes to see if I did this one over. And I, uh, I'll pause. Yep, right here. 617, this is five days. Five days after I did... The split or put a frame in this nuke to get it restarted. I didn't have any queen cells, so that means I did it over and it took from 142 put in seven. So I'm gonna close this back up and we'll find another one. If I had somebody helping me, they're just you know, like an apprentice to keep track of, of what I was doing and write things down, I should have crossed off number seven on, uh, on the 12th. But I didn't do that. I forgot. So I, uh, 
I wasted time looking at that colony again. And now I'm currently looking for 196. I can't remember where all of the colonies are. When you, I got almost 260. So let me pause. All right, I found it. This is uh, my gray deeps. I don't paint the numbers on them. That way I can change the numbers or letters. So I found it. Let me open this up. I give them a minute or two to calm down after I pull off inner cover. Uh, I caught a queen cell yesterday, and I saw, I, I look for the color. If it's white, you know it's no good on day 13. Um, if it's brown, you, you know it's potentially going to be a good virgin queen. It depends on how you cut it, and I want to find a queen cell that I can cut and show you. Okay, 196. Five days after I did, I put the frame in or did the split. I didn't see a queen cell, so I thought that's kind of strange. And I didn't redo it, but I've got I've got a queen cell here. I'll show you how I cut it. I use you want to use a sharp razor blade. I use these utility knife blades, and I will cut at an angle. I don't cut straight in. I never cut straight in. I cut at an angle like like that. And may have to do it twice. And then I take and I uh, pry it open a little bit. And I take a look. See I've got white and should be brown so this is this is like day 11 or 10 or and then if if i want to know like it's if it's close and it's brown if i want to know it's alive i'll poke it a little bit and if i see if i see that legs moving i know it's alive and then if you if you confirm you have a live you confirm you have a live virgin queen in there you close it back up and if you have any gaps in there you take you take a piece of uh, wax make it thin like that close up the holes because if you have any holes in there well, this is easy. If you have any holes in there, they will assume that it's uh, it's no good and they'll destroy it. And I'm pretty sure this is no good anyway. i got to redo this colony today. So that's basically uh, how I do it. I would have done a better job with that. Sometimes you can take, put it between your fingers, get it nice and thin, and then lay it on there. And take that razor... Or you can take your fingers and pat it down, and when it's warm enough outside, you take then you take the razor and you just kind of you just kind of it's like doing a little bit of plaster on the wall or drywall mud or whatever. You just kind of take and you uh, spread it out and patch up all the holes, and it's good as gold. Like I said, I did one yesterday. I saw that I saw it was brown, and it moved a little bit when I well, pried open the cell, so I knew it was alive. So I, I sealed it back up, and it's this, uh, this one right here. I went back today and checked it. Today's 14th day on that. So I wanted to know because uh, it was supposed to rain today, and it's not raining, and I wanted to get this done as soon as possible. I got to redo this one today, and then uh, there's possibly some others. So I, I'm going to end the video now. That's basically how I do it. I save time because uh, summer's only, in Michigan you get May, June, July to do this stuff. And after July, robbing's an issue. And if you had a small colony like this, you'd get robbed out. I got commercial bees in the area. So I want to get this done before the robbing is an issue. And then you also, you want to get a colony started at the beginning of summer. You don't want to be doing this at the end of summer. They, they'll never get enough food and they'll be too small to get going into winter. All right, uh, so I saved time by doing this, okay? Thank you.